This is Minecraft. Welcome YouTube to this video, video short video tutorial series. Today episode mining. Especially this particular episode. Obsidian mining. Obsidian is a very valuable resource. But in order to be able to get thing get this thing, you need some powerful stuff. This is your recipe you're gonna need here. This will create yourself a diamond pickaxe. You need a diamond pickaxe. Only diamond can actually take obsidian. Store all your garbage. You need your water bucket, your diamond pickaxe, and you're ready to go. Now, remember, when it comes to obsidian mining, you got to remember a few couple, uh, just a couple of things. Um, it is it is really necessary for only two recipes. Well. If you would, one recipe and one design. Uh, to make an enchantment table, you will need obsidian. But also, in order to be able to make it to the nether, you'll need obsidian blocks to make a, a portal. But in order to do any of that to start off with, you're going to need some of this stuff. I will see you at the portal. Alright, you found your pool of lava, which you would or you turn into obsidian with your water. Now to mine this stuff is interesting. Remember take your diamond pickaxe out and you want to start near the edge of a pool somewhere. What you're going to do is you need to create yourself a post to stand on. An old block is good. Make sure you're, you have enough lighting that's off the ground because what you're going to do in order to be able to dig this out put your uh, see the dirt block I just placed? Well, instead of putting dirt there, you're going to place water on top of the block you want to mine. Don't worry about everything else. You want to be able to mine the block under, just under the water. Because it's likely that you're going to have lots of lava underneath these blocks. And then as soon as you mine it, remove the water. Because remember one simple fact when it comes to mining obsidian. Water flows faster then the blocks can travel, and then lava spreading. Water is the fastest, so you want to you place your wa yourself water around, and you want to be able to mine out the blocks this way, having the water source block uh, right near in your area. Because you can see the water spread out and filled in this gap way before uh, the block started moving. This is your, how you're going to do it, because if there's lava underneath, this water will cool off the lava way faster than it actually does. And remember, when you're obsidian mining, you need to be able to be as be assured you're not going to be interrupted, because this takes a lot of focus and concentration. Make sure your area is lit well enough that you can continue working without stopping. Because stopping to fight monsters is not an option. And so, you know, now, he, he, I suggest you need a minimum of 14 blocks. Some people say maximum, but no. In order to build and make the two th items you need in this game that require obsidian, you will need a, you'll need minimum of, of 14, a maximum of 18. Well, and in this instance, I will make I will get you 18, and we'll see you back on the surface. Before I actually hit the surface, I wanted you to see this. This here was the ravine you saw in the last episode. And they're very dangerous and very lucrative for this lava reason. Now you, some of them are actually covered in lava. Floorboards covered. But the good thing is they go all the way down, which can be dangerous as well as very good all at the same time. Do we amounts of ores further down, see? So if you have enough courage and lab and, and, and buckets of water on you, you can get really rich really quickly. But remember also, it's dangerous because of the enemies that spawn and you're always going to be in the dark. Just remember that when it comes to these things. All right, so you got yourself back home, and you're like, "All right, Gold Fox, I got my stuff. Now what?" 
Well, in order before, before you proceed with uh, your crafting recipes, you're gonna need to find yourself this stuff: sugar cane, and you're gonna need some leather, which you get from those guys, cows. And what, now, what you do with all this? Well, remember, one's a recipe, and one is a structure. You're gonna need to create in a row like that paper. You'll need at least three paper to uh, for this recipe to work here. You need, in order to make a book, which you will need, to create this recipe. You'll be making lots of books in order to be able to get further in this, and further and further into this game. But this particular uh, recipe here, two diamonds, four obsidian blocks, and a, and a book. And you put one here. Boom. Enchantment table. Now this is definitely necessary for making your weapons and tools powered. I'm going to put this aside for now. But well, what you're going to really need is obsidian for the nether portal. In order to be, and now you need 14 pieces for the full portal. And in order to light the portal to make it work you need a flint and steel in this an iron ingot and a flint, which you got from your gravel diggings. You create flint and steel. Now one thing you should note for your enchantment tables is in order to be able to make them uh, make higher enchantments, you need to surround bookshelves around your enchantment table in a particular pattern, which I will be showing you when I actually farm enough of this stuff to make those. But on to the real thing. Now, note when making a portal to the nether, you want to be um, giving yourself lots of room away from your house. The portal makes a lot of noise. Noise that can be very annoying. Now, this is a good place as any on the edge of the island. Now, what path you will be making, I will show you a pattern here. Two, three. One, two. You're going to be careful with obsidian because it is it takes a long time to mine, so you place it the right direction. Now, I'll clear this up so you can fully see this. See that pattern? Anywhere you want it to be, any style, any place you want it to be, it could be in a house or, in, or its own structure of any kind. But this here is what you need. Two, it's going to be two in the, uh, along the bottom, three along this uh, on each side, and two along the top. Ten blocks here. This is called the poor man's portal. A full portal is four blocks along the bottom, and you go four straight up, making this shape, letter, like letter, no, letters, uh, letter O or number zero. But you take your flint and steel. Right click, boom. Particleized effects. You don't need your flint and steel anymore. You can use it later. This here is a portal to the nether. Place of wonder, majesty, of lava and darkness and death. For many reasons. And that will be the inch, uh, the next episode. Nether and all its wonderfulness. I'm Gold Fox. Thank you for watching. Join, uh, hit that subscribe button and join the pack. Also, leave me a comment uh, and, and tell me something you want to see in an episode, and I'll get right to it and give you all the inf information you need on whatever you need to know about. Plus, don't forget to tell other people about this series, a series about Minecraft, anything that needs to be done. Thank you for watching.